That's my car. I'm meeting Lucy for lunch today, so means I've had to actually park my car in the staff car park here, which is unheard of. Uh, miserable day. Bad enough that I wear these. to lunch with Lucy. That should be fun. There's somebody behind me, it's making me really nervous, they're walking really fast. It's a customer. No, no, oh no, they're far enough away now, I don't have to worry. Yep, we're off for lunch with Lucy. Yes, this is the Lucy that works at a Poke Stop. I've got to stop going on about Pokemon, man. This is fast becoming a Pokemon vlog. It's a Poke vlog. <sighs> We've got to drive up there and park in the visitors bit. Which you're only supposed to stay in for half an hour. Now these are the council offices. I better not get a ticket. Oh my god, you How bring are you? that in there? <laughs> I ain't leaving it in the car. Oh, what have I done? You look like you're from Blink 182 today. Come here, give me the give me the camera. <laughs> Blink 182? Yeah man. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Adam caught a seal. I've got a seal. Yeah, well, I got. I it crashed when I caught it, and I didn't keep it. Oh so annoyed. I think my card, my bank card, has got an issue with Tesco's cash machines. For some reason, the one over the road from us at home, by the train station, won't read my card. All three of them here at the big Tesco's in Bedford, none of them read my card. I don't know what it is about Tesco's cash machines. It works in all others, well most others. I think there was one in a little corner shop once that didn't work. But other than that, I don't know what it is. how you get to the canteen in Bedford Borough. If you've got a little card that lets you through that magic gate. And we're back. It's a nice little canteen that Lucy's got there at Borough Hall. It's alright man, the fish was excellent. Very neat and tidy. Now it's back to work. Still, it is Friday, which is good. Come on, Finally got the fucker up, but I tell you, if you get one, don't take the bit of plastic that's in the middle out, even if it's not actually attached to anything. Try and stuff it up under the lip of the bit that you fold over, because it ain't packaging. It's supposed to be in there. But even once it was back in, what a ball ache to put them up. Oh, hopefully later on, I will have an inflated one to show you. Hopefully, I ain't promising anything. Right, off to get Lucy now. I oh, so for beds, man, that was a rookie mistake. After much scouring of YouTubes, discovering about that plastic liner, what a knob. However, we've got over it, managed to stick them back in, because they're not attached in any way, they're just folded under the, the thingy. So if you are a complete and utter bellend, much like myself, 
don't worry, it is remediable. So we'll have another go at them later, I think. But, oh, there you go, yeah. Come on. It's a top up. No, I don't even know. You've got me right on the up here, brother. Just come up with something on the hoof, on the hoof. Yeah. Welcome to L Tells Cockney Phrase of the Week, and today's one is Rhythm and Blues, which is shoes. There you go, and I might even put mine on over the weekend with Rhythm and Blues. Give Tune on. in next week for the next one. That was just spur of the moment, just right. flash straight into his head. Yeah. First thing, first yeah, thing right. that popped in. John. That's perfect, mate. That was hey, perfect. No, I'll oh, take him out. Yeah, yeah, that's good as well. Lucy thinks that because I don't ask for a square battery when I want one of these. It's because I'm a purist. It's a square battery. It's a nine volt battery. It's just what square. it is. Oh, square. It's a nine volt battery. Square. The end. Square. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, what's tonight? It's oh, I know what it is. It's vape juice review. Another pidgey. Do you see what I'm up against? Right, tonight's is another Yorkshire vapor or oh, the Yorkshire Vape Company. I should probably look that up. Be, oh my God. I knew I touched the lens with my thumb. I'm not doing it in the dripper dripper because I ordered the wrong one. <laughs> I ordered um, six milligram, six milligram nicotine. Sorry about the gratuitous is nudity yet again. I ordered, nudity? Yeah. Oh, you got a top one. Correct. Um, I ordered six milligram by accident. So, Sorry, but I reckon it'll be really nice in three. That is literally exactly Which is what I'm going to get it in next time. It comes in massive 100ml bottles as well, which is amazing. And it's cheap, like the budgie. And I've just done that at 80 watts. Whoops. It is cheap like the budgie. Let's give it a whirl. It's good. It's so good. I'm so gutted with myself ordering the wrong strength because it is really, really nice. Check that out. It's the Yorkshire Vapor, or the Yorkshire Vape Company, or the Yorkshire V Festival. I don't know. It's something to do with Yorkshire, and it's all about vaping. It's cheap like the budgie. It tastes amazing. This is better than a more premium juice of the same flavor that I've tried before. Seriously, these guys are onto something. I'm a massive fan. Huge fan. So, check that out. And, as a triple feature, because you've had Tell, you've had the vape review, you're gonna get my top five O, which is my top five of anything I choose. And I am choosing the stickers on my laptop. Right, so number five is this one, funnily enough. It's the GoPro sticker. Now, the reason that's number five is because I got it when I bought a GoPro, which didn't work. It flat out refused to charge, doesn't work, it's rubbish. Um, I'm not saying GoPro as a brand or as a products in general are rubbish. They're, not, they're probably not. They're probably fantastic. I haven't got any, because um, I can't afford them. And I bought one in Black Friday because it was nice and cheap, and it didn't work. But what a sticker. And it kind of like makes my cheap even better number four on the list you know what number four is gonna be that one SJ cam because GoPro is such a fail um, and it's never let me down they're brilliant I haven't got one handy to show you but they are brilliant they are absolutely fantastic cameras they have not let me down at all so far and for 50 quid and the amount of stuff you get with it all the different attachments all the different bits I've said this before I'm sure I've said this before they are fantastic. If you want to get yourself an action camera, but you're not 100% sure what you're going to use it for, get one of them. Get one of them. It's so much money to be saved. Don't go and splash out on a GoPro. It's going to live in your drawer for 10 years. Um, number three, it's got to be that. You know what? I'm trying to do this. It's got to be that. Ugh. That is The Last Starfighter, which is one of Lucy's favourite films of all time, which I didn't know. The Last Starfighter was on the other day. You were like, this film's brilliant. Navigator. Oh, that was Flight of the Navigator. I'm sorry, how long have you known me? Oh dear. Well, The Last Starfighter is a brilliant film, and I love that little oh, sticker. I'm sorry, what? How wrong could I have possibly been? Number two on the list. We go the other way up. The best skateboards by far. They're probably not. They're probably not, but that's what my longboard is. I've fallen in love with Madrid. I think that 
deck is absolutely fantastic. And if I had loads of money, I'd have hundreds of them. And um, what was that? Was that number three? Yeah. Number two. Because the man's a legend. Okay. That one right there. I honestly believe that vaping has saved my life. I really honestly believe that as a real thing. Um, Grim Army is Grim Green, Nick Green, Namba Juice. The man just... He was so easy to watch. Because I researched the shit out of absolutely everything. And he was so easy to watch, so easy to check out, so easy to find out exactly what I needed to know about everything I needed to know. And he's my go-to guru for vaping. The, the end. And then number one. And then number one. And if you don't know what that means, do one. So, thanks for watching. And remember, there's a kind of confidence that comes when you're in your 40s and 50s and men find that incredibly attractive. This book was written for women, wasn't it?